This time we're going to look at converting standard form numbers back to ordinary numbers but with a negative power and the only real difference this time is that the negative power means the decimal point moves to the left instead of to the right. So let's look at how we would do that with the first one. So start with the original number 6.7. Now we're going to move four places to the left. So one, two, three, four. Our decimal point's now there. Fill in the gaps with zeros. And remember that's not there anymore, it's moved to there. So we need to put another zero at the start to make it into a correct number. So rewrite your answer. We would now have 0 0.00067. As our final answer. Now, same again for this one. Start with a 5. Slightly more difficult because there's no decimal point to begin with shown, but every number has a decimal point, it would be there. Now we're going to move it 7 places to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's there. Fill in the gaps and put your 0 on the start. I rewrite it correctly. 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5. And this last one looks a bit strange as well. Quite often the exam board will put in numbers that aren't written correctly in standard form and ask you to convert them either to standard form or back to ordinary numbers. So let's look how we would do that. Start with 102. The decimal point would be there on the end. It's just not shown. And we're going to jump eight places to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Decimal point ends up there. Zero on the start. One, two, three, four, five gaps to fill in. And rewrite your correct answer as zero point one, two, three, four, five, one, zero, two.